Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scribe Me Quick Designs and I wanted to show you a brand new product that just came out from close to my heart and it is our new diffusers. And a diffuser is something you use with your embossing folders that will help give you uh, several different looks to expand the use of all your embossing folders. And you can use this with close to my heart embossing folders as well as any other, like the Cricut folders or any of the other embossing folders you may own. And we have two kinds. We have a square one, and basically it has a square shape cut out of the back. But what we're going to be using in my demo right now is I have elected to use the round circle one. So here is it, it's a hard plastic, uh, acrylic, um, like a cutting plate, okay, like you use with your Cricut uh, cuddle bug, and the center pops out, okay? So then you have the base with a, with a hole, so let's see, I can put my fingers in here. And then you have this piece, which I'm not going to drop, and because I will use this in a few minutes to show you what I can do with this. So... Just a quick review. When you use the different embossing machines, they have different plates and different things that you use to stack to get the imprint to work with whatever embossing folder or die it is that you're using, right? So with the cuddle bug, I have an A plate that I use as my platform, okay? And then I have two B cutting plates. Okay, can you see those? So I have two B cutting plates. And then of course I would need an embossing folder and this is our new confetti stars uh, close to my heart embossing folder which is really cool because it has little stars that there's a big grouping of them here and it's kind of hard for you guys to see that probably but see there's a big grouping of stars here and then they gradually just float up and get less and less stars across so it looks like they're almost like bubbles going up so it's a really cool new folder and um, we have a couple of these Anyway, so this is the new confetti one. So this is the one I'm going to be showing you today. So normally, you would just put in your piece of paper that you want to emboss and put it into your plastic embossing folder. Close it up. Put one of your B plates on top of your A plate. Now this is if you're using the cuddle bug. If you're using a Sizzix Big Kick or any of those other things, you would stack your slightly different and then you have your additional cutting plate that goes on top of that and then you turn the handle and you roll this through the machine and it would actually emboss the piece of paper so this was the plain piece of paper and now this is what it looks like when it embosses okay so this is that same sheet of paper but now it's been embossed all right and the embossing is a raised can see that the embossing is a raised surface that adds texture to your project so it's a really awesome thing to have and then you actually have even another effect on the back that's the deboss side which means that it's pressed in okay so um, anyway so that's what embossing is so when people are always asking me what are embossing folders and how would I use them this is what we're talking about now to use the diffuser what we want to do is we're going to do the same process. We're going to have our, our first A plate, then we're going to put down one of our B plates, and we're going to have our embossing folder, and we're going to have our piece of paper in our embossing folder, okay, just like we did a few minutes ago. Now, this is going to go down on top of the two plates, and instead of using the other B plate like you just saw me use, I'm going to use the embossing, the circle embossing without this centerpiece in it is going to be my plate that goes on top of this. So I want to line this up on top of my folder. It should be the same size of your folder. These are made for the 5 by 7 folders. Um, and you can use it with a smaller folder if you want it. Um, now, I'm just going to hold this with my thumb here and I'm going to guide this in and I'm cranking the handle. You can probably see the shadow of me cranking the handle and I'm moving this through. Okay, now when I take this apart, so here's the diffuser, here's the embossing folder, and I'm going to open this up and now you're going to see that there is a blank surface here. Hopefully, there you go. 
So you can see that there is a blank surface here that now I could stamp an image on this. So I have embossing and a stamped image all on the same sheet of paper. So that's really cool. So here it is with it completely embossed. Okay, and here it is with the embossing. It's hard to see it. But there's a circle shape here that I could put that is now smooth that I could emboss. All right. So that is super cool. That's what you do with the embossing folders. Now, let me show you one other thing. So now we have the, the other piece, right? So we have this piece, which is the cutout. And then we have the center piece. So we're going to emboss with this as well. We're going to start the same process. We're going to have our A plate our B plate, right, goes on the bottom, and now we're going to put another, just a blank sheet of paper into our embossing folder, and we'll line that up, just like that, okay, and instead of putting this folder with the circle on it, I'm just going to put the circle on top of my embossing folder, all right? So I have the, the circle on top of my embossing folder, and now I'm going to just push this through the machine. And what's going to happen is that now you don't have embossing on the outside, you only have the embossing on the inside. So now you have this entire surface you could stamp on or ink on or whatever you wanted to do. And you could have just a small amount of embossing here in the center. There you go. You guys can see that. So the diffusers are really fun to play with. I highly recommend that you get some. They're not expensive. I think they were, you know, $5.95. And I will put a link to my Close to My Heart Shop in my uh, description of the video. And um, get some. Play with them with your embossing folders. Uh, Close to my heart has some awesome embossing folders too. And they are they do have the cutout slit on the top of the embossing folder. Someone was asking me that the other day. They do have the cutout here. So if you're working with a long strip of paper that's longer than your embossing folder, you're still able to push that through like this and still emboss your image. And then you can pull it down a little bit further and continue to emboss. So it does have the slice on the top of these. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you the new Close to My Heart uh, diffusers. Like I said, there's a square one and there's a circle one. I can't wait to see what you make. Talk to you later. Bye.